Edge and Randy Orton's rivalry in 2020 has been one of the best and most critically acclaimed feuds on Monday Night Raw, and many fans believe that Edge and Orton are actually enemies in real life. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Outside the ring, Edge and Randy Orton are best friends. And when Edge returned to WWE, he asked Vince McMahon if his first return singles match could be against his friend, Randy Orton. Stone Cold Steve Austin's most recent appearance on WWE television, he used the Stone Cold Stunner on Raw commentator Byron Saxton and then partied with Becky Lynch in the ring. But back in 2019, Stone Cold Steve Austin had a confrontation with AJ Styles, where he used the stunner on AJ Styles as well. Many fans don't know this, but AJ and Steve Austin are good friends behind the scenes, and they were spotted a few hours before the TV segment aired, hanging out together. AJ's friendship with Stone Cold started after he appeared on Steve's podcast a few years ago. Steve Austin has also been spotted talking backstage with his enemy, who was actually his friend, Shane McMahon, who Austin used the Stone Cold Stunner on a few years back. And Steve is also close friends with Shane's sister, Stephanie McMahon. And by all accounts, she doesn't have bad feelings towards Steve for all of the bad things that he did to her father over the years. Other enemies that Steve Austin is friends with in real life also include DX members Shawn Michaels and Triple H, who Steve feuded with many times in the past. Alexa Bliss has been feuding with Asuka as the two are battling over the Women's Tag Team Championships. And as their feud is heating up, and tensions between them are at an all-time high on television. It seems that behind the scenes, when the television cameras are off, the bitter enemies are actually best of friends, and they are somehow able to put their scripted feud aside and hang out and have fun together. Another wrestler that Alexa Bliss has feuded with in 2020 was Sasha Banks, as Alexa seemed to truly dislike the boss. But that's only on TV. In real life, Alexa and Sasha are actually great friends, and are regularly seen hanging out backstage at WWE events. When a wrestler has been around for as long as Rey Mysterio has, you are bound to make some enemies. And one of Rey's most vicious enemies was Batista. But that was on TV, and today, Rey and Batista are now friendlier than ever. Rey is also friends with another one of his on-screen enemies, Andrade. Rey and Andrade have had a long and intense feud, but it seems that they have been able to remain friends through it behind the scenes. Rey has been also forced to deal with Andrade's manager, Zelina Vega, and she has made his life a living nightmare. But behind the scenes, Rey is like a father figure to Zelina, and she respects him immensely and would never want to do anything to upset him. And her and Rey know that the bad things that she does as Andrade's manager on TV are all part of a script and are not real. Roman Reigns faced one of his toughest opponents ever in Braun Strowman. The two had a memorable feud, but today it seems that the big dog has forgiven Braun for all of the bad things that he did to him, because the two are spotted at a gym working out together, and they even pose for pictures with fans. There's an old saying, the enemy of my girlfriend is also my enemy. But for Seth Rollins, that old adage doesn't seem to be true, as Seth was recently spotted hanging out with Becky's archenemy, Asuka. Becky herself has said that if anyone could end her wrestling career, it would be Asuka. Yet Becky's boyfriend, Seth Rollins, is happy to hang out with Asuka. And Seth is close personal friends to another one of Becky's enemies from the past. Past, Stephanie McMahon, and as for Seth himself, his number one arch enemy as of late has been Kevin Owens, as the two have had an intense feud that has lasted several months. But in truth, Seth and Kevin love that fans have bought into their feud and actually believe that they don't like each other. This is because Seth and Kevin are best friends, 
and love when they are able to make fans believe that pro wrestling is real and they are enemies, when they are actually the best of friends. In late 2019, Seth faced off with his former SHIELD teammate, Roman Reigns, on the draft edition of Friday Night SmackDown, and then again at the Survivor Series. During the traditional Survivor Series elimination match. And because of how intense these matchups were, some fans wondered if Seth and Roman's real life friendship was no more. But in recent days, a picture surfaced of Seth and Roman in a car together as they were driving together to the WWE Performance Center. And it seems that the two are still the best of friends. One of the biggest matchups at WrestleMania 36 is NXT Women's Champion Rhea Ripley putting her championship up against 2020 Women's Royal Rumble winner Charlotte Flair. And the two rivals have had a memorable feud that has been full of beatdowns and surprise attacks that have truly shocked fans. But fans were even more shocked when a backstage picture surfaced of the two bitter enemies standing arm in arm, and it seemed that they were now all of the sudden best of friends. And the feud between them was completely forgotten. In the past, Charlotte had a memorable feud with Sasha Banks, but the two on-screen enemies were able to put their past behind them as they posed for a makeup-free photo to help promote a good cause. And during this same photo shoot, another pair of on-screen enemies put their differences aside as Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley happily posed for a makeup-free photo together. Shayna Baszler has only been a member of the WWE main roster for a short while, and already she has made a brand new best friend, Liv Morgan. The two new friends wrestled in a dark match against each other after Monday Night Raw went off the air. But less than an hour later, the two were spotted leaving the arena together, as it seems they like each other so much that they are now traveling together. And Liv Morgan is now feuding with her former Riot Squad teammates. But in real life, Liv is still great friends with Ruby Riot and holds no bad feelings towards her. Liv is also still close with Sarah Logan, and the two even posed for a picture together before they competed against each other in the 2020 Women's Elimination Chamber match. One of the longest feuds as of late has been the feud between Andrade and Humberto Carrillo, as Andrade was responsible for injuring Humberto. But all of this is part of a scripted storyline, and in real life, the two on-screen rivals are actually best friends, and are regularly seen hanging out together. And when Andrade was gone from TV for 30 days, Angel Garza stepped in his place and feuded with Humberto. But once again, Humberto is actually very close with Angel, and the two are actually cousins, and they are able to separate their on-screen feud and their real-life friendship. WrestleMania 36 has many huge matches on the card, but maybe none bigger than the Spear vs. Spear matchup between Universal Champion Goldberg and Roman Reigns. During the build-up for the WrestleMania match, they have made it clear that they don't like each other, and at WrestleMania, each will do everything they can to come out as the winner. But that's what fans see on TV. In recent weeks, a picture surfaced of the two hanging out together backstage before one of their tense confrontations on television. The two were all smiles, as it turns out that Goldberg and Roman Reigns are actually close friends and have a lot in common, including a love of cars and both being former football players. For Goldberg and Roman, they know it's all business, and there is a lot of money to be made, pretending that they don't like each other on television. Roman isn't Goldberg's only real-life friend. He is also close friends with Paul Heyman, who manages Goldberg's past arch-rival, Brock Lesnar. Paul and Goldberg are so close that Paul had the honor of inducting Goldberg into the Hall of Fame. 